Hi, welcome to this episode of Gas Therapy. I'm Michael. I share my knowledge of musical gear solution, which are cheaper and better, in my opinion. So recently, I made a video about this $5 cable, which allows you to sample your external instruments line out purely from your headphone jack on your smart devices. But I was too excited to share the information that I forgot to shoot any bureau footage showing this cable in action. So this time, I will cover it up. First, I still need to explain how this cable works. So every phone, tablet, or laptop, they all have a headphone jack, no matter if it is 3.5mm or Type-C. They all can send audio signal out and accept microphone signal in. So basically, there is an aux-in port on every smart devices. And I always wanted to use that port to directly sample my external instruments. But you just cannot achieve it with a normal microphone and headphone splitter. It just won't work. There needs to be some sort of conversion to light the mic port to accept the instrument's line out signal. And this cable is exactly doing the conversion work. It has two TRRS tips, routing the audio signal out from this end to the microphone port in to this end, and also routing the output from this part into the microphone port this end. So no matter which direction you plug it, it will always work. I know using microphone port for sampling will only give you mono samples, but to me it's fine, because my guitar, my synths, my bass, they are all sending mono signals. And actually, I want them to be in mono. Now, let me give you a quick demo about how this cable works. Say I have this super tiny synthesizer, and I got one sound I want to sample into Koala Sampler on my smartphone. I can just plug the cable into my synthesizer, and then plug another end into my smartphone, and then trigger record, and uh, play a C note. Done. It's there. You might notice that you cannot monitor the sound during sampling, and this is where the audio splitter comes in handy. You can just plug it into your instrument, and then use one part to monitor, and the other part to send out a signal to your smart device with this super handy cable. And if you want to adjust the signal amount without blowing your eardrums, you can also add a volume adjuster before your headphone, so you can make sure the signal gets into your smart device is strong enough. And everything between your instrument and your smart device is this simple. You see, this cable is just a black magic. The oxygen port on our phone has been there since day one even before the smartphone era. And I still couldn't believe that I have to wait until this day to finally have this cable on hand. And it is only $5 simple. This idea and product might seem outdated, but to me, this idea is revolutionary. Nintendo has been doing the same things on every generation of their handheld and home consoles. It is called 枯萎技术的水平思考, literal thinking with withered technologies. Game Boy OG doesn't even have the backlight and the color screen. And Game Boy Advance finally has the color screen, but still no backlight. They are all assembled from outdated technologies, but they are all great products. And at the meantime, they are all not expensive as hell. Sometimes, great product is just cheap and simple. I know since last video, this cable has been sold out everywhere, but I'm sure the manufacturers will sense the needs on the market and uh, make them back in stock again. But if any gear company has the ability, please let them know this product design. Copy it, and also make some improvements on it, because this product will definitely make our life easier and uh, happier. That's it for this video. Hope it's clear enough this time. And uh, like, share, and subscribe. You can also get all of my demo projects, sample packs, secret videos, and also Finger Drummer 101 training on my Patreon. I will show you how to become a Finger Drummer with only a 25 key MIDI keyboard, which is super practical while beat making. And uh, see you there. Peace.